Hey, what is going on, YouTube? It's Nasty J bringing you an ultimate resource farming location in Ghost Recon Wildlands by boosting convoys. Now, this method can get you anywhere between 150,000 to 170,000 resources per hour. Quick shout out to IGN and uh, Maca91 Productions for sharing this, and this is where I found it, and I'm sharing it with you. So, a few quick tips here. Um, save this method to the end, or the middle towards the end of the game. It's, it's typically useful if you have more skill points than you do resources, and that's why this would really help you out. I don't really see it helping anyone out in the beginning of the game, um, but this is when you get further along. Um, this method only works in solo, okay? So, we'll get into it here. What you're going to need is you're going to need a weapon with a grenade launcher. Now, I would suggest three, two, maybe one, but two or three definitely is what you're going to need. Now, you're going to need a drone with the EMP, at least a level three. Uh, two is okay. One, uh, maybe not so much. Get you an assault rifle with an underbarrel attachment uh, with the grenade launcher. And you, by this far in the game, you should already have one either on the standard assault rifle or whatever you've picked up. Now, you'll need to go to this location. Now, you'll start here in Itaqua, and you'll go all the way to Villa Verde. And you want to go to this checkpoint, Villa Verde Alpha, okay? And you want to go to this right here and put a check marker because the convoy is going to spawn right up here every single time you load at that fast travel point right there. So, mark that spot, okay? And then fast travel to Villa Verde Alpha. And I'll get into it and show you here what I'm talking about. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to run up and jump on the bike. I'm the now head straight down this dirt path right here like I do. Now pay attention. It's going to take you a couple tries, but you'll, you'll get the hang of it after like five or six times. Now see this little drain pipe? Try to hit it just like that so you don't lose momentum going in the creek. Now kind of go straight and veer off to the right to get on this little dirt path and then go up straight to where your marker is and look for this spot in the road where this tree is and get off right here where this tree is okay the reason why is you want to crouch behind here so you don't get spotted when you're using your drone now switch to your grenade launcher and then pull out your drone and wait in this spot for the convoy to come by and hit it right in the middle just like that now don't worry I'm gonna go over it a couple times with you so you don't have to worry if you didn't get it. Now what you want to do is you want to hit the first truck with three grenades and then hit the back truck with three grenades. Okay? Now, unequip your grenade launcher and switch it back to your regular firing mode and kill the passenger. Now what you'll have to do typically is run over here and pull out the driver and then press the right stick and knock him out. <laughs> and then tag the vehicle and that's it. Okay, minute 45 seconds, two minutes, if that's what you're doing when you do this, once you get the hang of it. Like I'm telling you, 150, 170,000 resources per hour. Now, once you get done and you tag it, uh, press the guide button there and go to the map and fast travel back. Every time you fast travel back, it's going to reset. Okay, so that's, that's all you have to do. Reset it, you'll spawn back here, the convoy will be there, your check marker will be there. Run up and get on the bike. Now let's do it again. Go down the dirt path, keep going straight. You'll come right up on the drain pipe right here, try to hit it right in the middle. Now give you a little boost jump right here on this little hill and veer to the right, just a little bit, and you'll see the dirt path. Don't worry if you don't get it on your first try. Then go straight and you can't miss it. The tree's right there, a little fork in the road and stop right there, equip your grenade launcher, make sure it's ready, and pull out your drone with the EMP. Now, go around that little fork where that tree is and wait. You want to wait at this spot because, see, there's enemies up there at a checkpoint. You don't want to get them all spooked. So, wait till you hit it right about in the middle of the truck. And then, here we go. One, two, three. Take out the first truck. Now, you be careful with them bushes, man, because those bushes will get you. 
they'll eat your grenades real quick. So you got to try to hit those those trucks in the front and the back like that without hitting them without hitting the grass or the shrubbery or the bushes in front because it'll for some reason it'll just absorb the grenade impacts. Pull the guy out of the truck, tag the convoy, press the select button, go to the map, fast travel back, rinse and repeat. It's that easy. You can pause the video in the beginning to see exactly where we set the markers on the map uh, so you can set it up. It took me about five or six tries in the beginning uh, to really get it down, but once I got it down, psh, it was nothing. Easy peasy to do this. So, I mean, this is a great way to farm resources, and why not share it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so there you go. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I uh, appreciate you watching. And I have some more gameplay here of me just doing the glitch, rinse and repeat over and over again. That quick and that easy. I appreciate you watching. Leave a like, share, subscribe if you're new. Check out the playlist. It's off the chain. More videos coming every single day. I'm Nasty J, and I'm out to the next one. Let me tell you right now, you can't prepare for El Sueño. Ready or not. He's got a religious streak that rates pretty close to delusional. If he's not in it for the money, he's in it for the power.